Rob D. Look, come on, let's have a quarter past ten. Let's whip down the old Mardi Gras, eh? Have a couple of couple of jars, you know, scanty supper, eh? What do you reckon? What do you reckon? No. Look, I promised Cassandra I wouldn't go out, and I intend to keep that promise. Do you reckon she believed you? That <laughs> uh, what? When you said you wouldn't go out in a town. Well, of course she believed me. Why? Nothing. <laughs> Uncle, you're not trying to suggest that if Cassandra thought that Rodney was going out in a razzle, that she would go out in a razzle as well, are you? <laughs> What, you mean what's good with a goose is good with a gander? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> Cassandra wouldn't have gone out. How do you know that? Because I haven't gone out. Yeah, but how does she know that? Because... She just does, right? Our marriage is based on trust. Yeah, he's right. Cassandra wouldn't go out and join us up. Thank you. She wouldn't have to. She got the flat to herself. <laughs> so what? No, no. I just, no, I just meant if she felt a bit lonely, she could invite someone round. Yeah, like that couple at your anniversary, Stephen and his wife. So what's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing. No, it'd be a nice bit of company for Cassandra. She seemed to get on well with that, Stephen. Oh, of course they get on well. They work together at the bank. He is a colleague. In fact, he's more than a colleague. He's on top. <laughs> he's her immediate superior. No, anyway, she couldn't have invited them two round because Stephen's wife's gone away for the weekend, do you remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if that Stephen's been round my flat, I'll kill him. Now, oh, what put that idea in your head? <laughs> I don't know, it's just something that's been bugging me. Well, what do you want to do? You want to, you know, pop out for a drink and sort of talk about it? Hmm? Yeah. Might make you feel better, Rodney. Yeah, well, I suppose I could manage a... This is a conspiracy, isn't it? <laughs> you two are in league with each other, ain't you? You just want me to come to the nightclub with you, and you want the bed to yourself. Well, it ain't gonna work. I promised Cassandra I would not go out, and I'm not going out, all right? All right, all right, keep your hair on. Oh, well, we was only jeering you up. We didn't mean any harm. All right. Well, let's just shut up about it and get some sleep. Do with an extra blanket, not freezing in here. Yeah, it is a bit cold, isn't it? Cold? You bits of kid don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> you should have been with me on the Russian convoys. <laughs> One night it was so cold, the flame on my lighter froze. <laughs> Come on in, just one quick light ale. 